Architect and set designer Uwe Bruckner is the creative genius behind all these projects. He knows how to design a space so that its dimensions and contents immediately draw in visitors. Like this Black Forest theme exhibition room at the Baden-Württemberg House of History in Stuttgart. What we do is create a complete picture and atmosphere that appeals to all five senses. We don't just exhibit content, we stage it. So, for example, here you can hear forest sounds like cuckoos and smell fir trees. That's what we mean by scenography. That's what people like. In the museum lobby is a map of Baden-Württemberg, showing how back in the early 19th century, Germany was made up of small independent states, each with its own ruler. Bruckner makes this complex history accessible to visitors. In traditional museums, there's always so much to read before you can understand what's going on. But with this map, the territories are marked, like Baden-Württemberg, and you can see who its ruler was. What we do is help the content speak for itself. The designs are developed in his company's Stuttgart offices. Seventy people from different countries and professional backgrounds work here, from architects, designers, light and sound engineers, to art historians and cultural experts. They develop their ideas for new exhibitions as a team, first researching all the facts and then brainstorming to come up with a design. I think it's really great that there are so many of us from so many different cultures. It's very enriching. We all contribute our own cultural input. I come from Venezuela, and some of my colleagues are from Italy, all over the world, really, and it's a very creative atmosphere. The Atelier Bruckner works on projects the world over. At the Expo 2010 in Shanghai, it created the pavilion for the Chinese state energy company. A multimedia show conveys the message to visitors that renewable energies are the future and that responsible energy choices can improve living conditions in the world's crowded cities. Atelier Bogner also worked on the trading floor of the German stock exchange in Frankfurt. The circular theme reflects the constant loop of daily trading. In 2008, the exhibition That's Opera toured the world. Featuring original historic exhibits as well as installations and interactive media stations, it depicted the various stages in the development of an opera. A book documenting selected international Atelier Bruckner projects is set for publication. The page proofs have just arrived and the team are giving them a final once-over. Also on the schedule are talks about the group's next big project, Arabian Journeys, part of Saudi Arabia's massive King Abdulaziz Center for World Culture. Atelier Bogner will be designing a section of the complex in the middle of the desert. It's being billed as the eighth wonder of the world, and we're very proud to be a part of it, right? Absolutely, and we hope it's going to be huge. The Atelier Bruckner usually works on about 20 projects at once, so the team has plenty of scope to demonstrate its creative diversity.